Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. If you're out driving overnight or even first thing tomorrow morning, there could be some icy roadways out there. Do be aware of that. Allow yourself a little extra time. Take it slow. Let's take a look at what's happening at the moment. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar again. I'm still not tracking any showers out there. I think we're going to be staying dry through the overnight hours, but there still could be a little patchy drizzle and mist and you can kind of make out the uh, uh, low level moisture in the air here. Hurricane barrier cam. We've got uh, dry skies and Narragansett, but they can make out that the roadways are still fairly wet and temperatures even at the south coast are falling down into the lower 30s. Here in Warwick at 31 degrees, they've got a wind now from the northwest at 3. Uh, elsewhere in Warwick, 29 degrees on Route 2 with a wind from the north northwest at 3 miles an hour. There are those temperatures near the south shore. 30 in Newport, in the low 30s in Narragansett, Charlestown at 33, even over in Fall River, New Bedford. Low 30s, mid to upper 20s there in uh, northern Rhode Island. 26 degrees in Gloucester at the moment. Satellite radar picture, lots of snow off to our north up there in Maine. Moving away, lots of clouds remain in place here in southern New England. I think we're going to re remain kind of cloudy through the daytime tomorrow, despite this area of low pressure exiting the region. Here's our future cast. We already jumped ahead to 8 o'clock on Wednesday morning with lots of clouds. I think there will be a little bit of sun throughout the daytime tomorrow, but more clouds than anything else. Here we are 530 in the evening, nice and dry, but there will be some changes throughout the evening tomorrow. A little disturbance passes on by, giving us some scattered rain showers late Wednesday evening into early Thursday morning, but it's gone by Thursday uh, morning at dawn. Through the day on Thursday, we'll see clearing skies in the morning, sunshine for the afternoon, and it looks dry for New Year's Eve itself. Forecast for tonight. Overnight lows about 28 degrees in Providence. Still a little freezing drizzle and mist. Watch out for those icy roadways. Tomorrow morning about 32 degrees. There'll be some icy surfaces first thing in the morning. We'll see the temperatures rise into the low 40s in the afternoon with a blend of clouds and some sunshine, but I still think we'll have more clouds than anything else. Winds from the northeast to southeast tomorrow, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Here's your live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast on Thursday. It looks dry during the day. Clouds giving way to the sunshine. Temperatures uh, at midnight, 37 degrees as we introduce 2016. First day of the new year, looking like a, a dry day. And if you are partaking in one of the polar plunges, we are looking at temperatures both in the air and the water in the 40s. You know, the average high for uh, the average water temperature for this time of year, is, I think it's about 38 degrees. So we're looking at above average Water temperatures, 46 degrees. That's not too bad. Air temperatures will be around 43 degrees for the high. Saturday and Sunday staying kind of chilly with blends of clouds and sunshine each day. Be sure to get our updated future cast by downloading our WPRI Pinpoint Weather app. You can get it at the App Store or the Google Play Store for free. So just watch out for those icy spots overnight. Even first thing tomorrow morning, there could be uh, some slick roads. All right, TJ, thanks. And coming up next on Eyewitness News at 11, a thief.